Um, now, as a 16, 20, 25 year old yeah. um, diasporan who wanted to do music, yeah. I wanted to do African music, yeah. or was living in the diaspora, you felt the need to go back home then. Yes. Now, if you were a 25 year old today yeah. living in the UK, yeah. would you still feel that same need? Do you think the diaspora is strong enough right now for you to come out and still do Afrobeat music and not necessarily relocate to the motherland, be it Nigeria, Ghana, or anywhere? Mm. Wow. It's a, it's a very, uh, Egg bro, uh, 49.99. <laughs> <laughs> yes and no. I think it depends on you as an individual and how deeply rooted you are in your culture because you can't be seen to not be authentic when you're doing Afrobeat. Um, I think it's not easy for everybody to move back. Some people are married, some people have kids, you know, some people just can't afford to move back. If you can, I would say it's, it'll be very good for you. But if you can't, it's some, something that you have to, it's something you have to factor into your career. You have to visit Nigeria often. You cannot do Afrobeat or be an Afrobeat artist and not soak in the culture. Like it's, it's, it's important and it's changing. Like even as an artist, if I stay out of Nigeria too long, I, I get back and I hear that there's one dance called Zanku like that. I'm like, oh, you know, I, I have you have to stay updated with what's going on back then because that's that's the plug. You, you have to always stay connected to the plug in order for you to be truly and 100% authentic. 